Amanda Weber with Instructional Technology. We're going to help you with signing on multiple students through class links on a Mac. Um, we're going to recommend the Chrome or Edge browser. If you're using a different browser, it's fine. Um, but what you'll need to do is open that browser. We're going to go to ectorcountyisd.org. Across the top, we're going to click Parents and Students. Over here on the right, under Important Links, we are going to click Class Link. It will take you to this sign in page right here. We're going to click click to sign in. It'll take you right here where you will put in um, their ID number. So we're going to talk for student number one. We're going to put in their ID number and their password. If they're kinder through fourth grade is their ID number. If they're fifth grade and up, it started out as their eight digit birthday. But then um, if they did it at school, they were prompted to change it to select something else. So it will be their created password. So they'll put in their ID number and their password and click sign in. Once they hit sign in, they'll come to a blue screen right here that will load up. And you can see by the icon up here that here's my student number one logged in. They then have access to um, all of these accounts here that they can get on Pearson, they can get on Seesaw, whatever they're needing to do. It'll open other tabs. They'll be sure that they click sign out on that tab and close it. And then the, also when they're completely done, they're going to come to this little drop down arrow right here and there's a red button that says sign out. So they'll click that red sign out button. Once they hit sign out, it comes back to this screen. Now on a Mac, what you're going to want to do is come up to the top and you want to be sure that you quit whichever browser you're using. You have to just closing it with the X doesn't uh, reset it enough for the next student to sign in. So you want to be sure that you hit quit whichever browser you're using. All right, so we're going to open a brand new browser. We're going to repeat those same steps. We're going to go to the Ector County page, parents and students, important links, class links. You'll get back to the sign in page here. It'll bring you here. This is where you'll put your student number two. You'll put their ID number and their password and click the blue sign in. Then as you can see up here in the icon, um, I have my second student signed in. They have access to all of their sites. So whenever they need to um, complete whichever area they need to go into, they can have their other tabs open. When they're done here, they're going to hit this drop down arrow and hit the red sign out button. It'll take them back to this screen. And again, if you're ready for another student to sign in, please be sure you come up here and hit um, the quit. Whichever browser you're using, completely quit it if you're on a Mac. That way it'll close out everything and the next student will be able to sign in. Otherwise, it will keep pulling the previous student's data and keep signing them in. Okay. And just to jump back over here to the main page and show you some stuff here, under the um, COVID Information and Remote Learning tab, we've got information for parents. And right here on the ECSD Remote Learning, when you click here, there's a four teachers and a four parents tab. When you come here, there's um, information on accessing all the different programs. We're getting instructions, adding videos. It updates all the time, so please be sure you check it out. If you have any frequently asked questions, we do have a frequently asked questions section that you can come over here and access. We hope this helps you out on this new journey. Please, um, if you have any questions, contact your student's teacher first and they can get with us and we can help you all out. Have a great day. Wow.